Hi, this is Miss Knight, and I'm going to show you how to add and subtract tens from any two-digit number. First, I want you to notice my background. I'm standing in a number chart. Starts at 1, ends at 100. 100 numbers. We'll use this to help us with our math today. Now let's review. Do you remember how to add and subtract by ones using a numbers chart? To add, you hop forward one. To subtract, you hop backwards by one. For example, if we started at number 23 and I added one, where would this star go? Where would I hop to? That's right, we'd be at 24. Very good. Okay, so what if we want to subtract one? Which direction would we go? What number would we land on? Right again, we'd be at 22. Awesome. We can use that same strategy to add and subtract tens on the numbers chart. Let's look at 23. And this time, we are going to move up and down rather than backward and forward. So if you want to add by ones, one, two, three, just move forward that many spaces. If you want to subtract by one, subtract one, two, three, four, move backwards that many spaces. As you read down the numbers chart, the numbers get bigger. And as you can see on each row, they get bigger by just 10. The ones don't change. So if I wanted to add 10, I would go down by one. So if I wanted to subtract, I would move the other direction. I would move up. And up would take me from 23 to 13. So 23 minus 10 would be 13. But what if I wanted to add more than 10? What if I wanted to add 20 or 30? Well, I just keep skip counting by tens as I go down the chart. 33. 43, 53, and so on. All right, let's check and see if you understand the strategy. Let's start at 58 and add 20. Which way did you go? Up or down? And how many humps did you go in that direction? If you sat down, and took two hops and landed on 78, then you got it. Good job. All right, let's try one more. This time we're gonna start at 58 again, but we're gonna subtract 30. Think about it, which way do you need to go and how many hops to get there? Did you take three hops up the chart? If you landed on 28, you did it again. Awesome. Okay, the problem is 45 plus 30. What is the sum? Did you say 75? You got it again. You're doing great. All right, last one. I'm gonna start at 45 again, but we're gonna take away 20. What's the difference? Did you get 25? That's wonderful. You have got this strategy down. You already knew that when you want to add by ones, you move forward. When you want to subtract by ones, you move backwards. So just remember, adding by tens, you move down, subtracting by tens, you move up. I really hope this video helped you understand adding and subtracting by tens and how a number chart can help you. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Happy math. Bye-bye.